Hello, this is Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to model a bridge deck right on top of the bridge pier. Let's get started here by going straight to steel beams. But before we invoke the steel beam command, we, we want to create points on these pedestals. We'll go straight to points under V under edit, pick online. Pick the midpoint of this pedestal, close that, go back to points, pick on line. Pick that point at that end to get the midpoint of that pedestal. Close this. Now to get the midpoint between these two pedestals, between this and this, we'll go to we'll go to points. Go to edit, go to points, click that midpoint and run all the way to, to this midpoint. We'll have this as the, as the midpoint of these two pedestals. Disable that command. Now, in the middle here, we want to place a beam of 10 meters. Now, we will create another point some two points points to guide us on creating a beam of t of 10 meters from the middle now we will go to along extensions place your cursor there and type 5 meters click ok or enter now instead of, of going back again and creating the same thing you will copy this hi uh, highlight that right click and copy pick it from this point and, and place it here you will have a mirror image of the other point right here now if you t if you want to confirm that come to uh, come to free distance under edit click that take that measurement click that end, you will see here it's 10 meters. Disable that. Now we can go to steel beam under steel, click that, place your beam from there and run all the way to that. There you are with your beam. Double click on this. This is the size of the beam we want or you can change this by clicking on the profile you can change this, you can change that, you can place that, but we are, we are satisfied with this. We'll apply that and accept that that one is okay and modify everything. That's right for us. Now, we want to create another beam from here, but of the same profile and of the same size. Go to steel, go to steel beam, click this, this midpoint, run all the way to that end and click. Instead of doing the same thing the other end, just click this, right click and copy. Pick it from this end and join it with the other end of the 10, 10, meter, 10 meters length beam. Just zoom out and click it here using a copy command right there to disable it. Now we want to create, we want to create the base plates and uh, elastomeric bearings for this beam bridge deck now we will create some points to guide us go to points pick at any position pick it at that position and this position we want to offset this by come to that point click right click and copy Click on it, place your cursor here, type 70 and enter. Instead of doing the same thing there, just click this, right click and copy, pick it from this point and, pl and, copy and place it there. That's okay. Now we want to copy this, 
press control and copy that and and, and highlight that right click and copy click it place your cursor there type 300 enter same click this and this by pressing control button on your, on your keyboard right click to copy this bring it from that point and place this one here you will have your point here now on these points we want to create base plates now we will go to steel beam go to plates pick it from this point bring it here and it here and also link it up with the other part just rotate right click disable that rotation command and join it with that end finish it here there is your plate navigate under view if you take a look closer you'll see our base plate has just take uh, had just uh, mixed up or uh, collided with our beam now we, we will give this beam an offset of the same thickness of this base plate but before we do, we do that we want to give this plate our required thickness double click on the plate we want a, a thickness of 25 millimeter modify that and accept now come here double click on uh, the beam click on the beam and uh, go to move we want to move this beam up by 25 millimeter but we want everything to move up we will press control and select that and select this one too right click go to move then come here and place your cursor there type type 25 there you go and enter you can come here and see the beam has just offset itself on top of the plate just go to navigate click rotate about that point and see that it's right on top of the plate because we entered an offset equivalent to the thickness of the plate now under this plate we will place a bearing an elastomeric bearing which the whole deck will be resting on top of it now we will click this click that and click this control copy and control key and click that right click and move up by 50 by 50 type 50 on the keyboard and enter click on the screen rotate about that point now we want to create an elastomeric bearing but uh, we will see we, we want to use this plate to be a dummy of our elastomeric bearing now we'll just go on that and and the click copy come here place it here but we will increase slightly the thickness of this elastomeric bearing now we will come here and give it a thickness of of 30 click that apply and accept click it keep click move move it from this point and that point now this is is our elastomeric bearing now 
we want this elastomeric bearing be sandwiched between two plates. We'll copy that, right click, escape, escape. Click on the screen, click that, right click to copy. Copy it from this point and join it with this end. Right click to disable that command. Now this is our bearing, this is our a plate anchored into on top of the this concrete pedest uh, pedestal pedestal now we will try to rotate around this rotate just have a look at whatever you've done cool Right click and redraw to, to remove all those points. Now what we are going to do is to click that and copy everything on top of these pedestals. Right click, click copy command, pick it from that point and place it there. Place another one there, place another one there, place another one there and there and there. There you go. Click that. Click that. Click that. By pressing control key on your keyboard. Just highlight everything because we want to copy this on the other side. Click that. Click that. Click this. Click that and this one. Click this one, this one and that. Now right click and copy. Snap in the middle of this. Go all the way to this end and snap here. Same here. Same here. Same all the way here. Same all the way here. Nice. Right click to disable that command. Now we come back to our steel beam. Just go to navigation and uh, rotate about that point. Now we will go to now creating some connections here. Splice joint. We'll go right here on the application and component and type 32, 132, and click column splice. We'll click this and this. Right click. These are changeable by double clicking on the joint and change all this. You can change all that. Nicely done. Come to applications and component, click that, click this and that. Right click and disable that command. Close that. Now come here and click this. Select that, select that, select that, select this and that and that one. Now we want to populate this. And before we do that, in between these beams, there will be an insulation. There will be an insulation. A polysulfide sealant will be placed here, but we'll create, uh, we'll give a, a preferably 50 millimeter gap now what we'll do we'll create go to edit go to any position click that point and click this point 
copy click that and highlight this right click copy move it from that point Pl just place your cursor here and enter 25 enter that and copy the same to the other end click that select that right click copy come all the way and place it here place it here no not the right way click this press control click this and click move from this point and this point click that press control move from this point and this point now we want to, to trim this end we'll go to line cut click on the beam we want to cut this point click that end and click the side you want to cut we'll do the same the other side we want to cut this from this end to that end and click the side you want to cut click on the screen click on the screen again right click and redraw those points will disappear now we want to populate this on top of these pedestals now click that press control click the joint the joint click that and click that right click invoke the uh, the command the copy command now populate this from this point come to this point come again to this point move again to this point come again to this point come again to this point come again to this point nicely done right click to disable that command right click again to re to to redraw to redraw nice now what we are going to do we want to create some reinforcements here but we will use some guidance using points we'll come to points come to points come to come to online point click that end and click this end we'll have our midpoint here but we but uh, we want to move it along we will use an, uh, another handle to hold it and uh, click that come to as any position come to this point and end to this point right there we want to move it click that press control click that and this we want to move on this side from that point going this end going that end mm, okay we will feed we will feed 600 with 600 600 there we will copy the same here go 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 um, right click pick it from this point 
we'll bring it here place it there now go to steel beam click on that point right click disable that command not placed on the right position right click go to steel beam go to view rotate click that point go to rotate right click disable that command and link it with that point right click disable that command double click on that beam come to position come to at depth click front behind middle right now it is on the right right position but uh, the profile is not what we need double click on it go to profile come to you want to change this profile to 447 uni, uni, universal beam now we'll come to 457 152 and 67 apply and accept that come here and modify and do that now we want to create end plate joint end plate joint will be okay for us we'll come here and type just come to applications and uh, component and type 101 101 end plate click this and this double click go to bolt eight L S eight point eight X O X place it in the middle apply that we don't need this need twenty four M twenty four modify that We'll give this an offset of 50. Here we need six bolts with an interval of 120, center to center. We need an offset of 60. Here also we need an offset of 60. We are good to go. Need some. Uh, uh, Try 30 there. Five bolts, five bolts with an interval of 120. Right. Not try right it at all. Bring it back to 50 bring this to 50 now change this to 130 change this to 140 well done apply accept blade thickness is not adjusted we want 20 millimeter thickness nicely done now come back to applications and the component steel click that click this and snap with that and uh, and click that Inter uh, uh, cancel that now go to view navigate rotate your your deck 
we want to mirror this but before we do that we want to copy this on on, on the on on this end highlight click that click copy pick it from that pick it from that end hold it from that from that point and bring it all the way to here to this point and place it there the joint is there we want to do the same on this end click this press control and click that right click go to special co sp uh, special copy click mirror we want to mirror about this this point will be our mirror line going down to this point and click copy accept our parts our, our our enforcement has been copied this end right click disable that we want to create another joint in the middle just come all the way here all the way there and click that point press control and click this point pick this point not right not right not right not right we'll come here we come to edit come to points pick online want to create an a reinforcement here create a midpoint there pick this point before you kick, pick that point create a point here to guide you from that end to this end Now you can pick this point, right click, copy from this point, zoom out, go all the way to this point, place it there, copy this, right click, copy from this point and place it here. On this point. Go to steel beam, pick beam there, that point. If you're not able to see, navigate around. And rotate that, right click, and pick that point. Rotate your model, check whether what you placed is in the right place. is in the right place go to end, end plate click that point and this click this point and that there you go now cancel that come to navigate click and rotate about that point Now what you, we are going to do, we want to create, make a copy, this end and this end. Because of the span of this beam. Click this, right click, copy. Copy from this point. Going all the way to that end. one point five meters enter right click copy 
from this point all the way to this end 1.5 meters right click to end that command remember to save your work navigate around now we want to copy this click that press control click that click this click that click that click this one and this one also right click invoke the copy command pick it from this point this midpoint and join it to click that click this and that click that and this one click this right click copy from this point to this point to this point and this point and this point you can join up with this well done nicely done right click and redraw go ahead and rotate this is our bridge deck on top of the pier RCC pier nicely done right click and highlight all this click that click this click that we'll copy one by one click that click that click that right click click copy snap in the middle here and move all the way to this mid point do the same here and do that do the same here do the same here do the same here let's zoom in and click that Let zoom and click that point. Let zoom in and click the mid of this by split. Let's move all the way down here and snap at that point. Right click, disable that. you will do the same let's go ahead and highlight that press co copy that press control click that click that and click this click that highlight that highlight this highlight that 
Take that. Take that and this. That one and this one. That one. Then this. Highlight that, this and that. This one and this. We are leaving this one out. Now, right click, go to copy. We will move from this point to this point. And to this point. And to this point. We are done with that. Click on the screen. Right click, redraw. Come to these reinforcements. Click and press Control key. Highlight everything. Click that. Just highlight all the reinforcing beams. Click that. Click that, click this and that. We want to move one go. Click that and this. That one, this one, this one, that one, and this. And this. Now we want to copy, right click, click copy. We want to move from this point, from this point, to this point. There they are. Move again to this point. Our beams are, are placed nicely. Now move to this point. Again move to this point. Nicely placed. Right click, right click again, and redraw. Go to view and rotate. Go to wind, go to wind, elevation view, right click, redraw, right click again and redraw. This is our elevation view. We can go back to 3D. Rotate. Nicely done. We will wind up here. Thanks a lot for watching. We will meet on the next episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe after watching the video. Thank you.